Hello friends, so here we are going to discuss how to modify the characteristics of DC motors. So we know that uh, the original characteristics are like this. Uh, this is the case for a separately excited DC motor or DC shunt motor. Both are having similar characteristics. A straight line which is almost parallel to the x-axis or torque axis. So this is the characteristics which is good for uh, constant speed ap applications. And uh, this is the basic characteristics with rated voltage. Now, if you vary the load, you can see the variation in speed is very, very small. So this is good uh, so far as speed regulation is concerned. A series motor is having an inverse characteristics, which we have already discussed. So which you can see over here that uh, it is having a, a, a hyperbolic curve. So it's a good for constant power applications or the applications which require very high starting torque, right? Now, how to modify? So for that, we know the mathematics of it, that the speed is proportional to, or speed is depending on armature voltage, flux, and the IERA drop. So from that, we have three methods, uh, apparently, armature voltage control, uh, field control, and armature resistance control, right? So armature voltage control method is the one which we are going to discuss. This is, this is two methods which we are going to discuss in our subsequent section. Now armature voltage control method is one in which you can see it everything else is constant in this equation. Uh, speed is proportional to voltage. Now the catch over here is that voltage you cannot reduce, uh, you cannot increase. You always have to reduce the voltage because insulation uh, provided in the machine is as per your uh, rated voltage. Uh, that insulation cannot withstand voltage more than that, otherwise it will get uh, damaged. And so the motor will get permanently damaged. So the thing is that you can always reduce the voltage, you cannot increase the voltage. Then uh, speed, below rated speed only is possible as speed is proportional to voltage. So reduce voltage will give reduced speed only. You cannot increase speed beyond rated speed with this factor. No load speed will also reduce and so uh, let's see that how this method is uh, applicable or how the characteristics get modified if I use a, uh, the same method for separately excited. So you can see when you apply rated voltage the characteristics is the top one. When you reduce the voltage you get characteristics uh, parallel to the rated one but below it. Right? So likewise, if I go on increasing, reducing the voltage, I get characteristics below it, right? So the good part of it is that this uh, characteristics is still parallel to the torque line or having very less slope. So the speed regulation is good. It is still good for the constant speed application. But now with reduced voltage, you are now able to run at the new required speed, right? Uh, no load speed also reduces with the applied voltage reduction. That is what evident in the uh, curve, right? Now, DC shunt motor is also having same situation, but the condition over here is that you cannot keep the shunt connection as it is. Uh, armature has to be separately uh, connected and field has to be excited separately. Otherwise, this method is not applicable. If you can maintain that, sep that shunt connection, the effect of voltage reduction and effect of change in flux canceled out each other and overall effect is uh, not there in the speed variation, right? DC series motor, this is the characteristics. So original characteristics is with rated voltage. You get characteristics uh, parallel to and below the one which is rated voltage with this uh, matter, right? So this way you can see that DC series motor also you can have armature voltage control. Right, so that's all uh, in this particular method. Next section, we are going to see the armature resistance control method and field control.